Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Hasha Bali Khan. So in this video, I am going to start unit number 2 of computerized accounting subject. Already unit number 1, I have already completed. In the first unit of computerized accounting, I have explained you in detail regarding the meaning of computerized accounting, advantages, limitations, objectives, and the differences between computerized accounting and manual accounting, then how to maintain the chart of accounts, how to create the company, how to shut the company, how to, I mean, open the company, and how to find out the features or how to alter the company details, company configuration, chart of accounts, that means creating a ledger account, altering, deleting, and displaying the chart of accounts, single mode and multiple mode, all these things I have covered in unit number one. So if you have not watched that first video, first unit, I suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject computerized accounting. Watch the first unit videos completely. Then you can be able to understand this unit number two. So in this unit number two, I am going to explain you about maintaining stock items. Maintaining stock units. So how the inventory, how the inventory will be managed, controlled, recorded using the Tally ERP9 package. That's what I'm going to explain you. So before explanation, take a screenshot of the points which I have written on the board so that it will be helpful to you before going for examination. You can be able to briefly, I mean, uh, jot down the points. Take a screenshot, then I'll explain about this second unit. Come on. Now I will start unit number two, computerized accounting, that is maintaining stock keeping units, SKU, that is the name of the topic of this unit number two. This units include, so first of all, I'll discuss the topics which I'm going to cover up in this unit. First of all, introduction to inventory masters in ERP. What is inventory masters in ERP? What does it include? That's what I'm going to explain. Secondly, creating inventory masters creating stock groups, creating the units of measure, creating the stock items, creating go-downs and defining of stock opening balance in ERP stock category and lastly inventory reports. So these are the topics, all the topics which are going to be covered in unit number two. So watch the video till the end to get the complete command so that confidently you can write in examination. Now, first of all, I'm beginning with introduction to inventory masters in ERP, in Tally ERP 9. What is this inventory masters in ERP 9? First of all, you make it clear. Then I'll discuss about stock items and I'll discuss about stock opening balance. These three topics I'm going to cover. The first one, introduction to inventory masters in Tally ERP 9. The basic inventory masters in Tally ERP 9 are stock group, stock items and units of measure. So in this basic inventory masters, basic inventory masters, it includes stock group, stock item and units of measure. The inventory masters means, first of all, you must know the meaning of the term inventory masters. So here I have explained inventory master means which uh, the menu first of all inventory master means the menu which list down the inventory related information in the tally ERP. That means this inventory masters is nothing but the menu which list down all the information relating to inventory. It is the menu which list down all the information relating to inventory in tally ERP 9 that is called inventory masters right now the inventory masters include stock group stock item and units of measure just now I told you these three things combined together constitutes inventory masters stock item is the main inventory inventory master the main item the main item is the stock item 
is the main inventory master. So in traditional accounting system, stock ledger account is prepared for each item of inventory. Go, when we refer to back, refer back to manual accounting, in manual accounting, in accounting, there we open a separate ledger account for each item of inventory. For each item, we open a separate ledger. The same ledger account we call it as stock item. We call it as stock item. So there, in manual accounting, we call it as ledger, and in this. Uh, Tally ERP, we call it as stock item. In time, units of measure option is used to set units of measurement for each stock. See here, measure, measuring unit will be different like kilogram or pound or ounce or uh, I mean uh, quintal or ton. So different measures are there. So we have to specify what is the unit of measurement. And the steps to create inventory masters is as follows. So how to open the, how to create the inventory masters. That means the menu which contain, which list down all the information relating to inventory. That is inventory masters. So how to go into inventory masters here, the path I have explained. Now, Open Tally ERP 9. First of all, on your desktop, open the ERP 9. Select company. Whichever company you want to enter the transaction, select the company. Then inventory info. After selecting the company, choose inventory info. Select inventory info. Then in inventory info, select stock groups. Stock groups or stock items or unit of measure. Whatever you want. You want to create the group, you want to create the item or you want to create the unit of measurement. There you have to select single or multiple. Again, you have to take the decision whether you are going to create single or multiple. So after getting creation screen, fill all the fields and click on yes or press enter to accept. So the path is first you have to open the ERP, tally ERP 9. Then after that, select the company in which you want to enter the data. Then select inventory info. Then after selecting info, inventory info, select the stock group or stock item or unit of measurement. There you have to specify whether it is single or multiple. After this, fill up all the fields which are required and then click yes or press enter button. Then that will the data will be saved. Inventory info means inventory information that menu that menu inventory info means comprises inventory masters each master has three functions so every master will have three functions the three functions are create display and alter that means you can create the group you can create the item or you can create the unit of measurement so not only creation but also you can alter you can display so three functions are there creation display or alteration right the above three functions are categorized into two groups that is single or multiple again this creation will be single mode or multiple mode similarly alteration is for single mode or multiple mode so what do you mean by single mode and multiple mode single mode allows execution of function only on one master if you want to execute only on one master, select single mode. If you want to execute more than one masters, you select multiple mode. So multiple mode allows you execution of function on multiple masters. So I have explained you about the first part that is introduction to inventory masters. Introduction to inventory masters in ERP9. So inventory masters means the menu which is related with uh, list down all the information relating to inventory in ERP 9. Now second topic I'm going to explain you is stock items. Very important topic. This will be asked in examination regarding explain the meaning of the term stock item or explain stock opening balance. So these two topics I'm going to explain you watch carefully. Stock item is the main inventory master. <clears throat> In inventory master, three items are there. 
stock item then stock group and third one is <clears throat> unit of measurement so out of these three the basic master is the stock item so stock item is the basic inventory master stock item option is used at the time of recording receipts and issues of stock items so this stock item will be used the stock item will be used for receipt of stock for issue of stock whenever there is a receipt whenever there is issue of stock we use the option stock item every item which need to be accounted for must be created so before recording the receipt before recording the issue of stock item that stock item should be created without creating the stock item we cannot record the receipt of stock or issue of stock so first thing is you have to create the stock item then you have to enter the receipts or issues of then stock items are goods which are manufactured or traded so actually what do you mean by stock item the stock item means <coughs> the goods which are manufactured by the company or the goods which are traded by the company the goods are called stock items then in the creation of stock item the group to which the stock item belongs need to be specified directly we cannot create the stock item we have to specify in which group in which stock group this stock item should be created so before creating the stock item first of all we should be clear regarding stock group so in that stock group only we open the stock item now stock item in the inventory transactions are similar to ledgers in accounting transaction just now i told you in normal accounting transaction we call it as ledger the same ledger in accounting transaction we call it as stock item in this uh, tally erp 9 now if the stock item which you want to delete is referred in any voucher suppose if you want to delete the stock item you cannot delete it if it is found in any voucher already in any voucher you have included stock item then that stock item cannot be deleted that's the limitation so if the stock item which you want to delete is referred to in any voucher then it is not possible to delete such stock item and deletion confirmation screen won't be displayed even after pressing alt d even if you press alt d then also that stock item will not be deleted because that stock item already appeared in one of the voucher already you have entered so this is all about stock item and this is the theory you have to write in examination if a question is asked on stock item the last two topic is stock opening balance this question had also been asked in the previous examination regarding stock opening balance the so stock opening balance is nothing but the opening stock or beginning inventory the stock at the beginning of the period is called stock opening balance opening balance may be defined opening stock may be defined as the unsold stock at the beginning of the current period so we enter the data for a particular financial year so at the beginning of the financial year whatever unsold stock is there that unsold stock is called stock opening balance the closing stock of the previous period is carry forward to the current accounting period and is referred to as opening stock stock of the current accounting period so normally one year's closing stock will become the opening stock for the next year so current year's opening stock means the closing stock of the last year the last year's closing stock is carried forwarded to current year's opening stock the so opening stock comprises stock of raw material stock of work in progress and stock of finished goods all the three combined together constitutes opening stock from the stock total stock closing stock needs to be subtracted to obtain the value of opening stock or stock opening balance <coughs> so if you want to calculate what is the value of stock opening balance take the total stock minus closing stock from the total stock subtract the closing stock we will get the stock opening balance so formula is opening balance opening stock is equal to 
total stock minus closing stock. If opening stock is more than the closing stock, if opening stock is more than the closing stock, it means the sales are more than purchases. Then the, it means that sales are more than the purchases in that accounting period. That's all. So in this video, I've explained you the basic of unit number two. The unit title is the maintaining stock, stock keeping units, maintaining stock keeping units. In this unit, what are the things you, we have to cover up? I have already explained you. The main three topics I've explained. Introduction to invest inventory masters in ERP 9. Secondly, I've explained you stock items. And thirdly, I've explained you the stock opening balance. The next topic, inshallah, I'll take up in the next video. So keep watching and enhance your knowledge. Get confidence on the subject of computerized accounting.